What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man back with another video editorial. Before we get started, I'd like to say shout out to the LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community, New Media, and Liberated Perspective, Third Eye View of the World. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Recently, on one of my Friday night chop sessions with Stormy B Man, I did a show called Catching the Fade. This editorial is in sync with that show where we're talking more and more about the fighters who are disgracing the sport of boxing with their antics, their lack of stepping up to challenges, and the fact that legacy is not part of their interests and in, within their participation in the sport. This is all fine if they were to come clean and to tell the viewing audiences and the ones who pay the tickets for the shows that they have no interest in legacy, that they're there to secure a payday they want a little name in the paper, they want a little notoriety, and maybe catch the interest of some of these young ladies that are groupies to professional athletes. That's all fine. If that's what you want to do, you should be about that and speak about that. But to try to deceive people into thinking that you're a warrior in the sport that represents warriors. And when the challenges arise, you decide to go the other way or step off into another division or step down in a division and to continue to feast on lesser opposition or non-threatening opposition. It's deceiving to the fans. It's deceiving to the sport. In the past, when we had eight divisions and one champion per division. Athletes had no recourse but to get in there, hone their craft, and to work hard. Because the only way that you could really get a decent payday was to be in contention for a title. Everything else was the regular mundane going about getting a payday, which you would have to fight much more often because you wouldn't be able to sit on your laurels and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars throughout the year after having not put in much work. Some fighters fought a couple of times a month, up to four to five plus times a year. And we're not talking about the champions who also fought as regular but not because they wanted the money like that. They wanted the prestige of being able to show their superiority within the sport. This is something that athletes of today, because they don't study the fighters of yesteryear, nor the legacy, which there is a lineage. Far, far more fighters today have professed that they don't even know what lineal means. That's a clue. The fact that you have no idea about lineage. So to be responsible within the sport, it's better to know a little bit about the history so then you can perform accordingly. But try convincing these guys of today this. It is something that they're just not clued in on. And the trainers as well. Because a lot of the modern day trainers have no attachment to lineage. If they did, they would give reverence to those who were their mentors and brought them up within the sport. It's something that is right there to be exposed. Freddie Roach, we're talking about people like you. Who was your mentor? Why do we not hear you speak of it? Isn't that interesting? But this is what I have to say about that. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this? And should fighters be more tuned in to legacy? The 
This is Stormy B-Man. That's all I have for you at this time. Until we speak again, peace.